Your dad told the story about some health complications that you had at birth. What happened the day you were born? It was a, a baby that came out, and, and they were unsure if I was going to make it, you know, to the next day. Um, and, and this was something to do with my lungs. I was the fourth kid, the fourth boy, and, and um, him, my mom had, had, I guess, not planned on, you know, having this, this fourth kid. That was me. And uh, I think I was upset for li literally the whole time about it. I just was so prepared to move on to that next phase that having another son or another child was just something I didn't necessarily want to do. He was laying there on this little pallet thing. He was just laying there. He wasn't moving, wasn't reacting like our like typically kids do. And the doctor, you know, with not much bedside manner, walked by and said, kids like this normally don't make it through the night. I felt immediate sorrow. And I remember holding his little hand. And um, I can remember saying a prayer. And I remember that night sitting there beside my son saying, God, I'm stupid. So I want you to forgive me for my ungratefulness. And I want you to give my beautiful son a chance at his life. What conversations have you all had about that regret and that reflection? It made him feel like um, he got what he asked for, you know, and, and you got to be careful with what you speak into this world, what you think, because all of a sudden, you know, he, he felt like he didn't want a kid and, and this kid comes out and he might not make it, right? It also sounds like he was speaking life into you from quite literally the very beginning. Is that how you feel? Just the time that he spent with me apparently was where a lot of my progress was was made. Just me and his relationship, him hearing him tell the story, it always hits me a certain way. With the 10th pick. In the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Garrett Wilson. You know, of course, when you were drafted, your dad penned a very heartfelt letter. He said, pray so that when you look back on the arc of your life and you see you went through tough things, you'll think, wow, I didn't do it alone. Last year, a very tough time for you. What was your prayer? It's gonna come that time where things ain't going right and, and you gonna pray no matter which side of it you fall on, right? Um, I've had to find, you know, new ways to, to hack the happiness. You know, it can't just be a result-based happiness. I gotta be um, strong in my faith. I gotta have hope. I gotta believe in, you know, what's to come is, is better than where I'm at. We got something to prove today. He's gone, touchdown Jets, Wilson. You know, last year, you said was the hardest year of your life. What do you want this year to be? You know, I have a vision of myself. I'm chasing it every day. I'm just excited to get the opportunity to go out there and prove to the world what I can do because I felt like I haven't. And uh, maybe that's the best thing about it, right? I still got a lot to give. What do you want your dad to always remember about how you love him and about how he has shown up for you? And I'm just, I'm just thankful that it was, you know, him that raised me. <laughs> And, uh, you know, that I feel like me and his best days are still ahead of us. Like, I'm just thankful for you, Pops, and, and I love you. And um, every message you ever told me, I, I, I keep, you know, right here all the time, truly. Wow. Let me take a minute. I'm Carissa Thompson with Thursday Night Football. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see interviews with your favorite players, the best stories from the NFL, and, of course, the crazy things we get into during TNF Nightcap all season long. And remember, you can hang out with us live during Thursday Night Football each week only on Prime.